and by Off the Wall Soccer Centers, the indoor training facility of the Clash. Well, here we are again in a shootout for the uh, ninth time this year. The Bob Lewis Volkswagen final stats, almost twice as many DC shots, more than twice as many scoring chances, not as many fouls as San Jose, 10 corner kicks by DC United as Joe Cannon gets ready to face Jeff Agus to start out the shootout here. All time in MLS shootout wins in shootouts and San Jose has an opportunity for an eighth shootout victory this year which has never been achieved in the four year history of this league. Certainly uh, both teams are good at the shootouts. The Clash have been superb at the shootouts and the goalkeepers for the Clash including David Kramer and also Joe Cannon have been very good also. A lot on the shoulders of young Joe Cannon. Obviously it was his save and the penalty kick from Roy Lasseter that kept the Clash in this game at 1-1 to -one also. Only six of the 19 players who have faced Joe Cannon in a shootout have been able to put the ball in the back of the net. And Jeff Vegas is the man who gets the first try. He chips it straight up into the air, through the arc. Can Cannon make him decide where to go? He does, but Vegas puts it in and it's a 1-0 shootout lead for DC, which is 2-1 and one in shootouts this year. Well, the Clash are seven and one. Interesting way of taking the shootout, obviously, for Jeff Agus. What he did with that flick in the air is really freeze the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper doesn't want to come out because the bouncing ball, he can just knock it over him as he's bouncing like that. So, interesting little way to freeze well, the goalkeeper. Here's a guy who's as good as anybody in the business in the shootout, Cerritos. Got it! Seven of nine this year for Ronald Cerritos. That's the best in MLS. Nobody has seven shootout goals this year, and Cerritos evens it up at 1-1. Ronald does a very good job of just finding the corners on these shootouts. He's a forward, he's very good one-on-one, -on -one, and this is just like, uh, um, I don't know, just like eating ice cream for him, these one-on-one -on -one opportunities for these shootouts. He's just very good at it. This is Brian Kamler's first chance at a shootout opportunity this year. Comes in the second round of the shootout following this 1-1 game. Here's Kamler, here's Cannon. Cannon is out, Kamler is there, and Kamler lets it go in time, and it hits the left post. Good job by Joe Cannon to force Kamler wide. He caught him in two minds because I think he was waiting for Cannon to make a move. He tried to, didn't take the shot, and then he fakes to go wide. But really, when he's trying to take it wide, he's not going fast enough to beat the clock in that one, John, and causing too many problems to Joe Cannon. So the advantage goes to the clash. So Eddie Lewis, who made his first three shootouts, out tries this year and is four of six for the year has a chance to put San Jose up in the shootout Prestis is out Lewis put it over the top and hit the camera hit the camp the goal camera at the top of the net and it's still one to one I don't think <laughs> here you go I hope he wasn't aiming for that camera that's for sure but this thing just bobbles there as he tries to hit it unfortunately for Eddie he was trying to just bend it around with his left foot but he took a nasty bobble and uh, wasn't the result he wanted Gary Talley is up next now in the top of the third round in a 1-1 shootout. Talley a second half substitution and Cannon comes up and touches it away. And again, once that ball is touched by the goalkeeper, it is dead. Great job by Joe Cannon on this one. You can see that Kerry took the first touch, and as he looked down to take the second touch, Joe Cannon came like a steam train and just got everything, including the ball. Very aggressive goalkeeping by Cannon. Well, here comes Jamie Clark now for San Jose. He's got a chance for a sixth shootout goal. He's won a couple of shootouts. He takes a shot. It's tipped away by Prestis. So save for Prestis, and we're still 1-1 through three rounds. Jamie Clark from Stanford. I wonder if he's played many games on this field out here in Stanford. He usually play on Maroney Field over the road, but uh, um, Jamie's been very good on the shootouts. That time, Prestis made himself big and made a good save. So 1-1 through three rounds. And Carlos Shimosa steps up here now. He'll go one-on-one -on -one with Cannon. It's touched by Joe Cannon. It's going to the back of the net. And he couldn't stop it. And Carlos Shimosa makes it a 2-1. Got his hands on it, but it went through. And a 2-1 lead for DC United. Unlucky for Joe Cannon there. He made the save, just got the touch on it, but it just rolled back in quite into the back of the net. And as long as the momentum takes in the back of the net, the goal and uh, the motion doesn't touch it again, that's a goal. So the flag is up for Dario Bros's opportunity here. Now he's got to make one to even it up. He takes a shot. No indecision at all for Bros. He let it fly, and it's 2-2.
That's a good finish by Dario Brozinic on that time. A lot of confidence, as you said, in that particular effort. This took him one, two times. He knew what he was going to do. And slotted it great in the bottom corner. And here comes Roy Lasseter, who, interestingly enough, for a guy who scored 14 times this year, has had just one shootout try this year, and he missed it. I think maybe he doesn't finish many games being a hard-working forward as he is, and, and uh, the coach is taking him out towards the end of the game. He's also missed a penalty against Cannon today, so a bit of a psych job here. Here's Lasseter, touched away, saved by Joe Cannon. His second save of this shootout, and now San Jose. Jeff Beitcher has a chance to win the shootout in the bottom of the fifth round. Big save by Joe Cannon once again in the fifth round. This one goes in. It's all over. Here we go now. Beicher versus Prestis. And the flag is up, and we're ready to go. Beicher makes it. It's over. Here's Beicher. Let's it go. It's over. Beicher the winner. And for the eighth time in nine tries this year, the San Jose Clash are winners in a shootout. There's a look at the two heroes at that particular moment, John. Jeff Beitcher has started the winning shootout to win this game for the San Jose Clash. And Joe Cannon became so big in the shootout himself. Cannon big in the shootout. Cannon big with the penalty kick. Save on the Lassiter shot. Wade Barrett set up Ronald Cerritos' goal. And those guys played outstanding, but our Honda player of the game today is Ronald Cerritos. Not only his ninth goal, his third in the last two games, but he was all over the field, especially in the last 25 minutes, finding some way, any way, that San Jose could win this thing in regulation. Absolutely, John. You know, for me, I picked him as man of the match because...